So what does all of this new plant hardiness zone map and all of that mean? Well, let me tell you. Hey gardeners, how are you all doing today? I am actually here, this surprise video, here it is. Uh, I was just in online and noticing that the USDA has put out a new hardiness zone map and I thought it would be a great time to be able to get on here and kind of talk to you guys for just a moment about what the meaning behind all of the hardiness map changes are, especially for those of you who are newer gardeners and might be kind of confused about what all of this means. Now, if you're online and you're looking around and joining some gardening groups and you're talking with other people and all of that, you'll notice that a lot of people always mention uh, what zone that they're growing out of. Now, this is good information for a gardener. Now, don't get me wrong when I, when I proceed with what I'm about to say. Um, this is good information for gardeners. Uh, a lot of us do grow perennial plants in our garden. There's plenty of different things that we grow that are perennial. A lot of herbs, a lot of different uh, flowers, and, and uh, even, um, even fruiting plants and things that we uh, harvest food from and all of that. There are perennials. But what most of us who are growing uh, food in our garden are growing annuals. Now these are things that we are uh, growing each and every year from either a plant start or we're starting them from seeds. A uh, perennial plant we're gonna plant into our garden uh, once and then it's going to uh, grow die back during uh, its uh, time to go dormant and then regrow again the next season. Um, so that uh, isn't most of the things that we grow in our gardens. So I want everybody to understand a little bit more about the hardiness zone map. The hardiness zone map is just basically a map that charts out and gives us a regional look at what our lowest temperatures are. Now, this can be the lowest temperature at any given time during, a, uh, during the cold season. And so basically, it should be, you know, it should say that it is a USDA perennial cold zone map or something of that sort. Uh, a lot of people get it confused. And uh, so I just wanted to kind of clarify that, that it's going to tell you the lowest temperatures that your zone is going to go into throughout its cold season, not when. And when is the real important thing for us who are growing annuals need to know? When is it going to get down to those frost temperatures, those freezing temperatures? Um, and then uh, that gives us a really good guideline for when we should be planting our plants. So um, your best guideline actually is when is your very first frost date and when is your last frost date? Now, depending on where you're growing and what region you're in uh, is going to tell you about when you should be actually planting and uh, planting uh, those um, annual plants when it comes to your first and last frost date. Um, so, you know, that's probably your best information. So, you know, take in this new information from the USDA hardiness zone and utilize it in your garden if you're familiar with your perennial plants or when you're going to be planting perennial plants. But for your annuals, you want to go and check that first and last frost date and then find out basically from uh, what's a great source for you is your local extensions on when to plant certain annual plants based on your first and last frost date. Now planting them at different times based on that is going to be different compared uh, uh, depending on what plants you're going to plant. There are more cold hardy plants that you're going to plant earlier and closer and maybe even uh, before your 
uh, last frost date or your first frost date. Uh, so uh, you'll want to check on those sort of things. Now, it, it's, it might seem somewhat confusing, but once you understand it, it's really easy to uh, uh, utilize and, and uh, make sure that you're planting your annuals at the right time. So I hope all of this information is really helpful to you when it comes to planting uh, your um, when, when you're planting into your garden this year. And if you have any more questions or anything like that, you can always get down in the comment section below and ask me down there and I'll get back with you on any sort of questions you might have about anything further. But uh, again, I hope this information helps you out. See you on our next video.